Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Mark, Dr. Masharia uh, from Ibuka. Today, I want us to talk about how to create your my Ether wallet, and this is for the Bitcoin project. We have uh, uh, launched the Bitcoin private sale. Let me emphasize that private sale on June one, and so. What is going on right now is that we are whitelisting those people who are already our investors and those people who are interested in buying the coin in the in the pre sale and also in a coin offering later this year. So in order for us to do a good job, we need to explain to you how to create your Ether wallet. A lot of people recognize that one of the best ways to invest in cryptocurrency is by participating in coin sales and I, this is good for you however one barrier that stops that would stop you from investing uh, is unfamiliarity with the process at a glance funding your favorite project through coin sales might look complicated however once you get there uh, you'll find out it's a piece of cake it's a walk in the park today i want to show you how you will participate in Eureka sales through uh, the yeah, Eureka Eureka sales how through through the Ethereum blockchain. The first step is setting up an Ethereum ERC twenty compatible wallet. How do you know that you are using an ERC twenty compatible wallet? And the question that comes to your mind also is why do you need an ERC compatible uh, wallet? Most coin sales are tokens. Uh, most most coin sales are tokens issued on Ethereum blockchain. We have seen that even many ICOs happening over the last year have gone through the Ethereum blockchain. It means that people who want to participate on Ubricoin also need to have Ethereum and its wallet. So you need to have two things. You need to have Ethereum and its wallet. However, not all digital wallets support Ethereum and because of that, you need to know where you can buy, uh, where, where you can work with an Ethereum uh, compatible wallet. For example, uh, to participate in Ubricoin sales, you need to set up Ethereum ERC20 compatible wallet where you are and only you hold the private keys. That's important. You probably know that coin sales is about sending and receiving coins. You already know that. Your private keys are necessary for correct interaction with the smart contracts to transfer and receive tokens. So <coughs> this is very, very important for you. Do not participate in coin sales by sending coins from any cryptocurrency exchanges. No. So you're already in a cryptocurrency, don't just send from any. You need a ERC compatible Ethereum wallet. Otherwise, you lose your funds. Okay? So that's very important that you understand. You need an ERC20 compatible uh, wallet. So let's clear this confusion. And um, so, you know, the compatible wallets, I want to give you a list of compatible wallets that accept um, ERC20 tokens. And this list is continuously updated in token market. So, we have my Ether wallet. My Ether wallet itself is online. Then we have another one called MetaMask. MetaMask works with Firefox. And Chrome browser extension. Mist, M I S T. M I S T is a desktop application on your computer or your laptop. Parity is another one that works on desktop. That's spelled P A R I T. Then we have I M Token. I M Token works with iPhone. I M Token also works with Android. So these are. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to repeat that list again. My Ether wallet is online. MetaMask, it works with Chrome and uh, Firefox. 
Mist, M-I-S-T, is a desktop application, although recently I've seen us using it on Chrome. Then we have Parity, P-A-R-I, P-A-R-I-T-Y, a desktop application. I am token or im token. Im token is for iPhone and also for Android. See? So you have enough of those and you need to go to token market and find the one you like. Now, there are many, many, many incompatible tokens, to uh, wallets. Many wallets that are not compatible with your that with, uh, with, with, with your Ethereum, um, with coin sales. Let's say incompatible wallets includes any Bitcoin exchange. So before investing, you should move your Ether to one of the to uh, wallets mentioned above. So you don't go to um, any Bitcoin exchange, don't go to any Ethereum exchange, don't go to Coinbase, do not go to Exodus, don't go to Bytrex, Bytrex, don't go to Jax, don't go to Poloniex, don't go to Kraken, don't go to Bitfinex, don't go to SC, CX.io, and don't go to Bitstamp. I'm going to repeat that again. The wall, the the wallets that are incompatible with coin sales so that you will not be able to buy coins if you are on any bitcoin exchange you cannot ex uh, you cannot buy uh, in a coin sale if you are in an exchange in a bitcoin exchange or any ethereum exchange also you cannot uh, participate in a sale if you're on coinbase or if you're on exodus or if you're in bitrex or if you're in jax or if you're in Polonix, if you're on Kraken, if you're on Bitfinex, if you're on CEX.io, or if you're on Bitstop. Those are not good. Next, let me explain to you how you open a suitable Ethereum wallet. Again, we have to insist on suitability so that you know really what is going to serve your needs. For that, let's use the example of my Ether wallet and missed wallets. So there are two types of we, we are recommending my Ether wallet which is online and Mist M I S T wallet which is desktop. Also feel free also to check out MetaMask. I personally have used MetaMask and found it to be very intuitive. It's not complicated. So how to open my Ether wallet to to participate in your coin sale? My Ether wallet is the most convenient Ether wallet which is capable of smart contracts. Thus, it is no surprise that most people use it to store their tokens acquired through coin sales. It's a non-online wallet, but it also provides offline and hardware wallet support, meaning that users can generate wallet keys for a variety of Ethereum storage solutions. What does it that it makes that makes it a great all-round solution for everyone because it is both online and offline. Now, how do you set up <coughs> your Ether wallet? My Ether wallet, number one, go to www.myetherwallet.com. My Ether wallet is spelled just like that, M-Y-E-T-H-E-R-W-A-L-L-E-T.com. You'll be greeted by several safety reminders, an option to create a new wallet. <coughs> Next step, step number two, use a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols, and make this as strong as possible. To cre you create a password by using combination of letters, numbers, and symbols, and make it as strong as possible. Okay, write it down immediately. Uh, if possible, make several copies, then click create new account. That's as simple as that. So, <clears throat> so the first thing is just to create a password. And that password you want it to be strong, it has combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Then number three, step number three, download and store your key store file. Now, this is uh, the file that you're going to see coming up. Now, do it for security reasons. 
as you know there can never be too much safety precautions in cryptocurrency trading you don't want someone stealing your money because they know uh, your keys key store file key store uh, <clears throat> keep it in a secure location and then click continue number four save your private key it may look like a string of symbols but this is a private key it's a mixture of numbers and letters and things and it looks in the, um, that key is a computer key and save it keep it safe safety is of critical importance make sure to back it up and keep it somewhere that no one else can know you can also print it to keep it as a paper wallet so when you print out your private key you call that a paper wallet and then remember, there is no way to retrieve your forgotten or lost private key and password. Therefore, take all necessary safety measures suggested by the page. Now, <clears throat> number five, use your private key or key store file to open your wallet. So each time you want to open your wallet, you'll be using your private key. And there are many ways to unlock your wallet, but keep it simple. Let it stick with the files we just got private key and key store files select and paste your private key or upload the key store to unlock your wallet number six now you have just opened your fully functional ethereum wallet it's as simple as that so if you don't get these steps again there are six steps one go to my ethereum wallet.com then create a password then download and store your key uh, store your key store file you will know your key store file because it's going to be labeled like that then save your private key and then use your private key or key store file to open your wallet and then you have your ethereum wallet so next time you want to access it go to my ethereum wallet.com click view wallet info right on top, top right corner and authorize yourself again all is left now is to load your wallet up with some ether. If you already hold some of uh, some of it, send it to your public address. My ether wallet also makes it easy to buy ether uh, through Coinbase. Although <laughs> Coinbase sells at more expensive than the usual rate. Okay, so that was all about my ether wallet. Let us now see how you create a mist wallet. Mist M I S T. Cryptocurrency wallets are categorized into four types. One is the online or cloud-based software, uh, cloud-based uh, wallet. So second one is a software like the desktop or a mobile application. And the, the fourth one is hardware. Uh, that one is hardware with an external device. And now the fourth one is paper. So I say that Cryptocurrency wallets are the four types of uh, cryptocurrency wallets. An online uh, wallet is software, which is for your desktop and mobile or mobile application and mobile phone. And then we have hardware, which is an external device you keep outside your computer. And then you have paper, printed keys. So when you, when you print on a paper like this, then you lock it in your nice drawer somewhere and make sure that nobody has access to that place because you need to, you need to be in your safe now you may already be aware that desktop wallets are considered more secure than online wallets it's important to say that therefore you want to add that extra layer of safety and it's recommended to use the desktop wallet for that we suggest official ethereum wallet mist okay so this one mist is uh, much more powerful because mist is uh is a desktop application and now here's how you get uh, mist and how you can set it up okay to download step number one let's say again to download mist wallet look for the latest mist wallet version at uh, github.com now if you go to github type ethereum mist releases ethereum mist releases or you can go to github.com slash ethereum slash mist releases but if you just searched mist wallet on github github is spelled as g-i-t-h-u-b 
dot com github you will get what you will get your missed wallet now scroll down to downloads because there's a, a whole list of downloads that would come choose the release according to the system you're using now in um in our case or in my case i use ethereum wallet win 64 file so if you're having trouble with this uh, we can talk about this later and we're gonna create uh, more videos to walk you down and when you set it up uh, on our youtube channel you can ask questions so that we can continue this dialogue now how do you install it step two is installation once downloaded unzip the file and look for ethereum wallet application file and then launch it if you choose to download ethereum wallet installer file you'll be asked to select install location uh, for for the wallet and its blockchain data so it will want to ask you where do you want to put your file then put it on a drive which has sufficient hard disk space so that it can use some of it all blocks combined can take up up to 30 gigabytes of space so if your computer doesn't have space maybe uh, you can do, think of how to increase the space and or something like because um, I did that with my laptop and it slowed down my laptop so much sometimes it just crashed stopped working so I had to get a laptop a laptop with bigger space and so it works so so all blocks we said again can take up to 30 gigabytes of space that's a lot and when the screen loads you should see a, a window saying ethereum is a platform for decentralized blockchain use the main network you will need either to create and execute contracts don't worry let us help you use a test network to read way so it, it's very good it's helpful then they use the main network option the test network is a function for developers not connected to the actual blockchain network so you need to know that now but step number three setting up your wallet once you select the main network a window will, will pop up asking you if you have a wallet file let us assume you don't possess one then click uh, click skip because if you don't have one you want to skip the step that is use your wallet file now if you Some people may have a wallet because they already pre, um, participated in coin sales before and so it would ask you drop your wallet file here. If you don't have it, you skip that step and go. Then it's going to ask you to create a secure password for your account. Use a new, unique mix of letters, numbers and symbols to make it possible, uh, to make it impossible to guess. Again, just like we talked earlier, you want to, to mix up the the password so it's long enough and it's not possible for someone to come and guess it you won't be able to change it later on so write it down immediately okay so that is to protect your account when you establish a secure password click next and you see a reminder to back up your password and key store file see just like we said in other steps it is critical that you do you do that because if you lose them you lose access to your wallet and its assets. You don't want to lose your money. So you're losing access to your bank account. Then click OK, back up your keys, and then you have it. Your Ethereum wallet is ready to use. So it's as simple as that. Again, what I want to tell you, I'm setting up the MIST for Ethereum account, a MIST wallet, and step number one is go to GitHub and search for MIST uh, wallet and you will find it then you, you select the, you, the type of computer we're using now ours is ethereum wallet win64 file you download the right file if you don't know also ask someone to help you maybe you can send us a message at info.ubrica.com you get someone to guide you and once you download you need to install it and zip the file and look for ethereum wallet application and then launch it and then the file is going to go through the the usual unpacking phase then it's gonna you once it has unpacked use select use the main network option because when you're on the main network that is where you're able to buy things it also gives you a test network for developers called Rinkbay. don't use Rinkbay if your intention is to purchase okay 
And then you set up your wallet by creating a password, a secure password that is not hackable. And you use, you use a mix of letters that are unique, numbers, symbols to make it impossible to guess. And so, but what you know, need to know once you, you create that password, you won't change it. And so write that word password somewhere safe and put it in your safe. Then once when you establish your password, click next and you will see a reminder to back up your password and key store file. It, it is critical that you do that because if you lose them, you also lose access to your wallet. Then you click OK and back up your keys and then you have it again. So your Ethereum wallet is up and running. And be aware that you won't be able to take advantage of your wallet until it finishes downloading all the, all the network block. For me, it took four days, but I told you my laptop was slow. So you can use faster connections. Depending on your network speed also, like here where we are in Nairobi, sometimes internet speed can be slow. And because of that, it can take a long, long time. And and then miss can use up a lot of your disk space and might be too big to start locally so make sure to put it in a, in a hard in an external drive uh, where it can fit okay now here's um how your new safe and a sound ethereum wallet uh coin coin sales and storage uh will look look beautiful if you need further guide then on how to top up your wallet let us talk there today. Today we talked about how to set up your wallet and I hope this is helpful. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Send questions to info at ubrica.com and if you are within phone range, of course everyone is within phone range and even on WhatsApp, you can call plus 254-755-844-017 plus 255-7 I'm saying it wrong. Plus two five four. That's a country code for Kenya. Plus two five four seven five five eight four four zero one seven. Thank you so much. <laughs>